Matters now and over 100,000 children aged between five months and two years from Western Kenya will be the first to benefit from a new malaria vaccine which will be launched later this year. The RTSS vaccine, also known as Moxquirix, has now gone through all stages of clinical trials and will now be used as it is monitored. Peter Wangangi spoke exclusively to a pediatrician researcher from the Kenya Medical Research Institute Welcome Trust involved in the program who says the jab will significantly reduce infant mortality rates. Kenya has been selected alongside Ghana and Malawi for the pilot introduction of the vaccine, which will last between three to five years. Thereafter, recommendations will be made on whether the jab can be used for widespread vaccination of all children. Currently in Kenya, uh, just slightly over 100,000 children will receive the vaccine, yes, within the western Kenya region. Children will receive four doses of the vaccine. Uh, so the first dose is given at the age of five months. Okay, between five and six months, and the fourth dose is given at the age of two years. Speaking ahead of the annual Scientific Kenya Pediatric Association Conference in Mombasa, the scientists said the jab will be applied in addition to other malaria control mechanisms, such as use of treated mosquito nets. And this vaccine has been shown to prevent up to 40% of infection. Uh, but in addition to pre preventing infections, it also reduces up to 60% of uh, severe anemia. It also has the potential to reduce up to 30% um, of blood transfusions. Malaria has been named as a leading cause of high infant mortality rates in six counties, which include Isiolo, Migori, Masabit, Lamu and Homa Bay. Uh, partly it's because of the high prevalence of malaria and the geographical location makes them disadvantaged in terms of access. We have also played a big role in getting many different vaccines included into the national immunization schedule. The head of the National Vaccines and Immunization Program is expected to elaborate on the exact timelines of the vaccine on Friday during the close of the ongoing conference in Mombasa. Peter Mongangi, NTV.